Good morning, my name is Andy McCann from Rolls-Royce Motorcars and I'm going to be showing you all the little details of how to become a better chauffeur. First of all, I tend to use two words. Those two words I'm going to use today are sharp and effortless. That's not just trying to be as sharp as possible, but everything that you do is effortless in a classic Rolls-Royce way. So if you're collecting your first passenger, you have to have prior knowledge of the passenger, where you're collecting them from, and you must have knowledge of their destination. Any traffic problems, any holdups that might be potentially on their way, and most of all, making sure that your customer wants for nothing whilst on that journey. Collect their luggage and place it in the back of the car making sure that they have all of their belongings with them. Many of our customers have got busy lives. They're always thinking one or two steps ahead. Checking to make sure their luggage is in the back of the car prior to your departure is an essential part of making sure that your guest is relaxed and in the right state of mind. Opening the door welcomes the customer to this world of comfort and effortless travel. The Phantom and the Ghost offer a walk-in experience when you open that door. The rear doors open to a 90 degree angle, making it once again very easy and effortless to enter into that car. We also make sure that if there's only one passenger, that that passenger is sat diagonally behind the driver, making sure that that passenger is curbside at the destination. Your pull away process must be done very, very progressively making sure that you ease off the brake pedal, allowing the torque of the engine to pull the car forward before depressing the accelerator pedal. Once we're actually driving, you must make sure your movements are progressive and accurate for a smooth transition through the corners and looking ahead and planning your route very, very carefully. We use a little terminology when we're driving behind a car in traffic. You must make sure that you can see tires and tarmac of the car in front. You're controlling the car for the car in front. So the key elements that every chauffeur should bear in mind. First of all is safety. Safety for your passenger, safety for obviously the car. During the journey itself, make sure that your customer is wanting for nothing. Making sure that they have chilled water, making sure that they have the daily newspaper. And if they have any information, if they're a film director and they have some information on a USB stick, Rolls-Royce has the technology that that client can read that information and view that program on the way to their destination. Key highlights when we are arriving at the destination is obviously arrive in a, in a very smooth, progressive manner, making sure that there's no moving traffic. In the event of having no space to, to place your car, and I really do mean to place the car into, a, into an effortless situation, just hold back for a second or two, making sure that some of the traffic moves out of your way. We often find whilst driving a Rolls Royce, it's a little bit of like sort of parting of the waves where a lot of the doormen often move other traffic out of the way so you can actually place your vehicle. We make sure that we are parked parallel with the curbs, any visual lines, all of those little details you must take in mind. With Rolls-Royce, we have umbrellas in the door. So it's not just because it's classically British motor vehicle, it also used from a privacy point of view. You can only do this with a Rolls-Royce motor car. When we arrive at the destination, if it's a celebrity event like a film awards or something like that, you will often find that there's many, many paparazzi. What the chauffeur must do, and I will underline this must, when we arrive at the destination, we make sure that all the doors are locked. The chauffeur gets out of the car, walks around the back of the car, taking the keys with them. The chauffeur then unlocks the car and then opens the passenger door. They remove the umbrella, you open the umbrella and you cover the exit gap. By covering that area, you can then also open the front door and creating this cubicle, this private cocoon, where your guests can step out of the car, making sure that their discretion is, is a paramount. So we've just touched on a few areas of being a better driver, and in particular, a Rolls-Royce chauffeur driver but I just wanted to give you just a little touch of what's expected of a Rolls-Royce driver. Thank you very much.